I want a different type of enemy in this game. I've already got this guy up here who shoots at me all the time and moves backwards and forwards. But I want a gigantic big guy who runs after me and I have to stay ahead of him because that's a kind of nice gameplay option. You can add obstacles and things that you have to avoid whilst running away. Um, so what I'm going to do is firstly give myself a big space to run on. I'm just going to move this down here and make that super wide. In fact, I'm just going to make it super wide. There you go, 8,000 wide. It goes way over there somewhere now. And I want a big guy who's going to chase me. So instead of reusing captain, because he's already got one job, I can add, um, I can add another captain, but this will be a different captain. Uh, where is he? There he is. So add him into the scene, and he appears here in a moment as Captain 2. There he is. So Captain 2 is going to be here, and just to make him more fun, I'm going to make him supersized. Like, like that big. I don't know, that big. Right, so he's going to run after me. So he's going to be there doing nothing to begin with, and then when I trigger it, he is going to run towards me. So he's just doing his idle animation at the moment, and then he'll move on. So he's not going to, we're not going to need to do much here. All we basically need to do is trigger him doing the thing where he does the running and then um, we'll make him do that. So uh, triggering things is a pretty common thing to do in a game. You want it like when your playable playing character gets to like this point here, then a thing starts happening. In our case, he's going to run. Uh, I commonly use empty sprites to do that so what I would often do is make a new object from scratch and create a sprite uh, because I'm in the online version uh, I can't just make a sprite I need to use pscale and that's not in the online version you could do it in the downloaded version uh, so I'm just going to do a workaround here, which is I'm going to use some random other thing. Um, it could be absolutely anything. It doesn't matter because we're not going to see it. Uh, I'm going to use a skull because why not? Uh, so add my skull to the scene and close. Yeah. So the skull, uh, this is going to be my trigger. I'm putting it right here. I'll make it a bit bigger so that I can't miss it if I'm jumping around. It would be annoying if I jumped over it. So, in fact, I'll make it super size because I do have a power up jump, don't I? So, anytime I touch this, it's going to trigger this guy going off. Looks pretty bad. We're going to hide it. Let's go and do that. So, level one events, add a new event, add a condition, and it's going to be when the scene starts. Right? And when the scene starts, my skull, I am going to set its opacity, change how transparent it is. I'm going to set to zero. So we will no longer see it. Right, so I won't bother hitting the play to show you that. You can kind of work that out. So now I can add a new event, which is when my captain, no, not captain, big guy, that's my playable character, isn't it? On collision, oops, uh, collision, uh, collision with another object, which is going to be the skull. And the actions then is that Captain 2, um, I'm going to change his animation. I'm going to use this scare on one, because I think that's kind of funny. And also, I'm going to nudge him in that direction. So, Captain 2, I'm going to apply a force, uh, add a force by angle, I think. Mm, I think angle 0. Can we just do add a force maybe? Yeah, speed on x-axis, that's easier than I'm trying to work out the angle. I think the angle would have been zero anyway. Um, I'm gonna put three, I don't know. And I'm gonna put zero here. And I'm gonna make it permanent. Um, so this is only one of the ways that we can just move him in a straight line. Um, there's other behaviors that we can make. That, that's just the one I'm using right now. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think that's all going to work. So, I'm ready to go. Even more ready. So you wouldn't do this like lots and lots in your game necessarily, but I, I think it's just one to add. A, it's so easy to do. I mean, it's, it's hardly anything that I've had to do here, and it's um, it you can with a bit of level design make lots of interesting obstacles that the, you've got to jump over and things that you've got to avoid it can uh, be really fun gameplay 
um, almost like a, a boss level in, in that respect and that you're just like normally wandering around and suddenly you've got this big fight you've got to do. So there's uh, Captain over there and if I go over here, collide with a skull and suddenly he's chasing me and I'm like, ah, run, 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 run. Uh, yeah, like that. All right.